Hi everybody, welcome. Mm -mm. Hi everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. It is your first time here. My name is Ayobami Bakari. Um, thank you for clicking on my video. Thank you, thank you. Um, those of you that are coming back, if you're a subscriber, I really, really do appreciate all of you guys, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, for supporting, and please keep commenting. I'll keep answering your questions and. So, in today's video, I'm going to the second um, school. In my last video, I talked about the first school. One of the schools in Canada that offers full funding. So, I'm talking about the second school today that offers full funding for international students in Canada. So, it's also fully funded, do you understand? So, basically, you have a total of $180,000 or $200,000 or $120,000. So, I'm just going to give you the overview like I usually do. You need to... The date. Let me first give you the deadline date so you know. If you want to school, if you want to start school this year, 2022, the application opened December 1st, 2021. And the deadline is February 3rd, 2022. So that means the deadline for this year has passed. So all of this that I'm just saying is for people that would want to apply next year. So the full details will be available in the International Student Scholarship and Award application form when it opens in December. So there's, I'm just going to call it IS, ISA. So it's basically... I wouldn't liken it to the East Far for USA because I haven't seen the form yet, but it's most likely going to be something like that or something different. So, a nine-digit York reference number is required, which you will receive within five business days of applying to York University. You must submit your application to um, York University by January 15, 2022 at the latest. Like I always say, the application is due February, is opening in December. Please make sure with common sense, finish everything in December if possible. So basically what you need to do now, I would say, I don't think the application for York University is open for this year since the scholarship has actually closed. I don't think you should apply. But once it's like December, please first apply. Like I feel like by... December 1st, the scholarship application opens December 1st. Please apply early to York University itself so that you get the business, the nine digit number you need to apply to the scholarship by December 1st. Um, not more than two years of high school graduation. So, what I've been saying is most of these schools in Canada are actually like. If they want to give you a fully funded scholarship, not more than two years after graduation, please make sure to check your school. Must have an excellent academic record with a minimum A average or equivalent where applicable. <laughs> so most likely my deduction, deductive reasoning from here is that they want straight A. So if you know you fall in that category, I would say apply, but if you don't, I would also say still apply because some people have like straight A's and won't be straight something or none of that thing. So definitely, definitely still apply. There's nothing God cannot do. We are we are the one ruling the world. The world is not ruling us. You must upload two letters of recommendation or other supporting documents where applicable. So please make sure to um I would say speak with your school as always have them get you two letters of recommendation ready before December then must have demonstrated leadership through community service or excellence in the arts sports or other areas of achievement so what I would say here is like I said in my other USA videos if you do sports if you participate in sports in your secondary school please Include it. It's very important. A lot of schools look out for these things. There's even scholarship for students that do sports. So don't joke. Don't joke. Then must ensure all required documents are shown as received by February 1st. That means even though most schools will tell you put the email of the person that you want to write your recommendation letter for you. Even 
even if you've put like the person's info and all of those things you've requested for your transcript to be submitted if that's how the application is and all of that make sure that before february everything is showing received 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 because if after february 1st you think you submitted your application but your one recommendation letter has not been submitted that application is not complete do you understand? I feel like that's a mistake that a lot of people make, both for Canada, both for UK, both for USA, whatever country you're applying to. Make sure all the required documents are shown as received. Even after, because some schools will allow you to submit your application, then you will now be taken to a portal where you can see if all the documents they require, if you've um, submitted them and if they've received them. So it's one thing for you to submit, it's another thing for the school to receive it. Some schools will tell you it takes three to five business days for them to process it as received. And some schools will process it immediately and it should take green, it will show you received. So before February 1st, make sure that is there, make sure everything is received. Like sit down on the neck of those people and make sure it is received. That's why I'd also advise don't get don't get somebody that doesn't check their mail, somebody that is not proactive to write a recommendation letter for you. I don't think it makes sense. Okay, so the application form opens December 1st, 2021. By submitting the International Student Scholarship and Award application, you'll be considered for the scholarships listed below, except the Tentanda VIA Award. So for you to be considered for that Tentanda VIA Award, which is $120,000, that's $30,000 for four years, this means like you have to take it in the application that you want to be considered for that. You'll be considered for the others, but if you specifically also want to like include that part, you have to take it. You have to actually select that you want that one. Fifteen people are awarded that one. It is renewal for an additional three years of full-time undergraduate study. If the student maintains good academic study standing, I mean, then the other scholarship they have that is still under the ISA is President's International Scholarship of Excellence. That one is $45,000 for four years a hundred and eighty thousand dollars and this is awarded for 20 people then two people would get eighty thousand dollars which is 20k per year which is global leader one person gets international school circle of scholars award which is just fifteen thousand dollars for that your year of study then york university themselves now give five thousand to ten thousand dollars for the first year and all of that and then there's other like scholarship sections and all of that so when you apply to york university when you apply to york university you should i would say they will notify you by like may 1st of 2022 so please definitely make sure that all of these things you have them before um beforehand um and all of that make sure to check your if they have your program make sure to um what's that word again make sure to even pray pray before you start so i've talked about university of Toronto. i've talked about york university so um i wanted to just say here that for york university um, if you can't write your IELTS or you can't write your TOEFL, then they accept Duolingo and CAEL online. I know that Duolingo is like a bit cheaper and easier, like the processing is easier. So check out with your school. York University accepts Duolingo, but I feel like that was during COVID-19. So I will drop their emails for you to also um, contact them, but it's also on their website, which I will be dropping in the description box below. But the reason why I'm saying I would advise you to do Duolingo is that Duol I think Duolingo is about $50 and some schools even have like Duolingo fee waivers that's that's the good thing I've never heard about this CAEL stuff so definitely and also confirm if Nigerians have to have rights it for York University do you understand so to contact international student services I will send I will drop the email like I said they have like FAQ pages that you can literally go and read stuff on when you apply to York University it takes four to six weeks 
before you get an admission decision guys that's why i keep saying apply early apply early i can't over over emphasize like um what do you call it i can't wait, emphasize the fact that you need you need you need to apply early so what i'll be doing is by god's grace when it's close to that time i would um kind of set up a reminder do like short videos and so that you can you can change your spirit can boost you but that's all that i have for this video if you were blessed by it if you were enriched by it please definitely leave a comment make sure to like make sure to subscribe turn on your post notifications so many other videos are coming in that i may mean, go i don't know the half of it so thank you for watching my video i love you guys bye